All right, you're here with David LeClaire, and I am going to introduce you today to a fun wine. This is what I'm drinking tonight, which is my birthday, so I've actually saved this to open today. And also a great suggestion for something to buy for somebody for the holidays. Why? Because if somebody really knows about wine, the problem is they're already going to have everything. They're going to have decanters and tools and nice glasses. So what do you get them? You try to outspend them on wine is probably not a smart thing. So why not get something affordable, really cool, and really different? Now this particular wine has a wax top on it. This is Sun River Vintners Suzao. And this has got that cool, funky top, but nobody really knows how to open them. So the easiest way is to either score it right around the edge or on a really younger wine like this one with 2011, you can go right through the wax into it. Now you go on to leave one rung so that there's one little curly cue, and then you hold it there with your hand, pull it right through, and now you've got a nice kind of break in it, and you've already got the wine open. You don't have to try to cut all that wax off. It still looks pretty sexy. As a gift, this is a really cool looking bottle of wine, but not only is it really cool looking, it's actually really awesome. So this particular wine was uh, one of my favorite winemakers, Jean-Francois, at Taste of Washington. He said this was his favorite wine of the whole tasting of Taste of Washington. I tasted this not too long ago and I fell in love with it. Suzao is a grape that is from Portugal and is being grown over in Red Mountain and there's almost nobody growing this grape and it's meant normally for port but this particular one is made in a dry style and it's just that grape, Suzao. And it's going to be under $20 and nobody's ever heard of it. It's a big, dark, big, rich, brooding wine and it's not Cabernet, it's not Syrah, it's not Merlot, it's not something that's normal. So for a person who's really into wine, this is going to be a fun thing for them to try. And they guarantee you don't have one in their cellar. And they probably have to look it up in order to find out what it is. So it's obscure. I only made 75 cases of this. And this particular wine was made in one big, large French barrel. And there was 150 gallons in this barrel. So for the most part, that's all they did. One big batch of it. You're not going to see it hardly in any stores. This is super obscure, and I found some, and we brought some into Esquin. So get it while you can. Let's try it. See what it's like. Wow. It's really spicy. It's got quite a bit of fruit. It's been a couple months since I've tried it. And it has just got so much of an explosion of flavor. It's not a big, thick, heavy wine, and it's certainly not dark and tannic. It's pretty, it's spicy, it's in the middle, be great with a lot of foods, and it's really different. Sun River, Suzao from uh, Red Mountain in a little vineyard called Red Heaven. Now, doesn't that sound good? So a great gift, as well as, hey, it's my birthday, and this is what I'm going to be drinking tonight. So hopefully we'll see you drinking some Sun River soon.